What's up everybody, it's Dark Stride of the YouTube Assassin and on a lot of my videos as I post about Odyssey and you know like just things that we'd like to see going on either in Odyssey or the series a lot of you keep posting things like you know RIP to uh, you know Assassin's Creed you know the series is dead you know we're no longer going to play this and all these other things and I'm just curious as to why you guys think that the Assassin's Creed brand is dead. What is going on? What has you so upset that you would like just totally disregard it anymore, that you would stop playing it? Is it because they're going in this new direction? Because they're, they're with Odyssey, they're just going RPG? Or did it happen before then? When did you feel that the series was dead? Honestly, I myself, I enjoy the series. Yes, we had a, a couple of bumps with, uh, you know, like Rogue, Unity, Syndicate. Uh, a lot of people, you know, either didn't like those or they just felt that they were out of place and stuff like that. And I could kind of understand that. But what about like Origins? Like I feel yeah. like Origins no. revived the entire uh, series again. You know, it gave us trust back in Ubisoft because out of nowhere, this game comes out and it's actually pretty good. You know, there was a lot of action. There was, it, it was a long game, even though it was, you know, just a six hour game in reality. What ended up happening is you end up uh, doing all the side quests and missions and stuff. And that actually makes it like a much longer game, almost 90 hours or so. So at what point did you begin to lose faith or are you losing faith? Are you worried about where the series is headed because of the direction that Odyssey is going? I know a lot of people are kind of upset that it's full on RPG, that it's no longer going to be, um, you know, like the, the action based or, you know, like mission based like it once was. Uh, you know, some people really can't roll with that. Some people feel like, you know, they need it to be just the same way that the games have been. And maybe the only actual, uh, the the only actual, uh, you know, like exploration and everything would be like it was in Black Flag. And for some reason, like a lot of people believe that the core games for Assassin's Creed were won through Black Flag. Like after Black Flag, they, you know, some people actually claim that, you know, the game just got terrible, that the, that the series got terrible. But, you know, like I myself, I, I have a hard time believing that, especially when a lot of us are still having a lot of fun on this game, on this system, uh, you know, even though they, they redid a few things. OK, in uh, Origins, you know, we did have a lot of side missions. We did have the ability to, like, change our gear, um, you know, not just our weapons, but, you know, our gear, what we look like, you know, shields, things like that. Some people are actually upset that in Odyssey, we're not going to have shields and whatnot. Some people are actually upset that in Odyssey, you know, we even have like a female protagonist, which is kind of weird, you know. I mean, it is what it is as far as, you know, like the protagonists go. I know we keep seeing that uh, Cassandra is canon and Alexios is not, but... Uh, I mean, that shouldn't be a deal breaker for the game. In all honesty, the, uh, you know, the game uh, Liberation, which was like a little spinoff of uh, Assassin's Creed 3 and uh, solely a Vita game when it first came out, was actually like a really decent game. Like I actually enjoyed it a lot. So uh, a female protagonist could work. I'm just curious as to like what uh, was the deal breaker? What shut it down for you? What made the series just not Assassin's Creed anymore. That's what I want to get into. I want to go into those discussions because it just seems to to me that it would just be weird that out of nowhere, you know, you would just write off the entire series. I know Odyssey has like a lot of quirks that we're not used to. And I know, you know, we're seeing things that we've never seen before in an Assassin's Creed game. But at the same time, this is the same thing that happened with us when we got to Origins. When Origins came out, there was a lot of stuff that we just were not used to that we didn't see before, you know? So, I mean, a lot of people still gave Origins a, a break. You know, they cut them some slack 
And, you know, it, a lot of people really got into it to the point where some people even want to see a Bayek sequel. Some people are actually upset that they didn't get a Bayek sequel, which, I mean, that is what it is. You know, they didn't get it. It's okay. Um, you know, like some people are actually hopeful we'll see Bayek further down the road. That's a possibility. Uh, maybe we'll even see an Aya game. That's another possibility. But we'll see what happens. We'll see, we'll see, you know, where this goes. And, um, you know, in all honesty, like I said, I don't have a problem with the series and the direction it's heading. Yes, it is a little weird because why on earth would they go with this crazy, uh, you know, like a, a purely RPG stance? Okay, it opens up a lot of uh, things that are like, you know, just confusing. Like, you know, if if this is the direction that we're going, how could we rewrite genetic memory? That's a discussion that I've had before. Uh, you know, if things have already been set in the past, how can we make, uh, you know, the, the change, the alterization and everything like that? That's just too weird. You know, uh, th there's a lot of questions that people have. But on the flip side, okay, uh, they did kind of fix certain things. They did say that the present day world is unaffected. So the present day world is going to be canon. And that's really important because at least if it's canon uh, in the present day, we don't have to worry about anything changing around. We don't have to worry about, uh, uh, you know, future games being confusing because we don't know what actually happened or anything like that. You know, it's all there. It's all going to be in place. The only thing that is going to be different is uh, the choices that you make in the game may not be canon to what is actually going to be in the novel, and the novel is going to be purely canon. Okay, of course, it only shows uh, uh, Cassandra's voyage. It's not going to show Alexios' voyage, but, you know, it'll be canon. So as you're playing the game, you may make similar choices. You may not make similar choices. There's going to be multiple endings, and, and you know, we'll see how that goes. You know, uh, you know, you stick to this YouTube channel and uh, there's a couple of other great ones out there as well. And, you know, we're going to give you as much information as possible as soon as we get our hands on this game. All right. So uh, don't worry about that. We're, we're going to go all in for you guys. Um, but like I said, I want to know, what do you think? You know, do you think that this is a dead series? Do you think that, you know, it, it died at some point along the way? Do you think that Origins wasn't enough to recover it? I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And just give me what you got. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're ever going to play an Assassin's Creed game again or, you know, what they would have to do in order to win you back. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.